Guess what? Every trucker out there, whether they have an eighth grade education or high school education, knows they're likely not to have a job in the next three, four, five years. Well, maybe Joe Biden has a point. Now, I've seen this uh, clip of him talking about uh, the, the failed state of truck drivers for the next couple of years or so. But I, I honestly really didn't pay no attention to it because I, I just did. A friend of mine made a TikTok talking about the state of trucking as it is now that nobody isn't even touching on. And that is the a grievous state of truckers that are being laid off right now that are losing their jobs because of companies going under just in the last year alone thousands of truck drivers have lost their jobs due to budget cuts due to shutdowns due to cutbacks including layoffs i i talked to ali and she was a victim of of a layoff because of a company that went up under but what do we do you've been working for this company for at so many years and all of a sudden they just give you your walking papers for whatever reason whether they let you go because they don't like you anymore or the company just go up under and here comes joe biden with this little clip about truck drivers with under college education, uh, eighth grade education, and knows that their trucking life is not going to last that long in a couple of years. But let's talk about that for a minute because I went to college. I, I got an associate's degree in business. And when I tried my hand at business, which was successful at first, but throughout the change, unfortunately, I couldn't adapt with the changes. I had two successful stores here in Cleveland, Ohio. That was that was great. Everything was on the upswing. But then when the music scene has changed from CDs to online to now Spotify streams and stuff like that, we couldn't compete no more. Brick and mortar stores could not compete with online instantivities, if that makes sense somebody needs a song they hear it that day they can have it downloaded and be playing it that night versus hearing the song and then waiting a couple of weeks maybe months to come out on the cd to actually buy it that's what we was up against luckily for us at one point or another we were survived by old school music all the classics the no limits the cash monies the suave houses the jay-z's we will survive off of that for a while but since the device the change there's ipods there's cars without cds anymore there's there's there, everything is is digital when when digital was taken over we we couldn't adapt we we adapt to the scene of music throughout the years all the way up till we couldn't adapt no more so what a person like me to do i went and started another business and that business was successful the roadside business it was doing the damn thing we was adapting we could adapt to anything but now what other carriers like now other carriers other people was coming in and they was chopping down the rates to nets to nut the stuff that we was doing at a at a premium rate is now got chopped down to uh, what is called now a competitive rate didn't make sense to me at the time but hey so what was the next step for me at the time my marriage was on the rocks my company was was barely squeaking by so what was next for me to do well if you guys know the story i don't have to go through it anymore i got my cdl no, i i paid my last credit card and got my cdl i got with a company i got my experience and now i'm the truck driver that joe biden is talking about as you guys know that the state of trucking throughout the years have definitely changed since covid it was it wasn't like it was going to change regardless but covid covid this tricked a lot of people into coming in to become instant millionaires the money was there true 
the money was there they had no choice but to pay that kind of money because it was only a limited amount of us that was out there doing it so they had to pay that money but after covid everything went in the toilet for us truck drivers owner operators had to put up their trucks the same owner operators that came in during covid thinking all that everything that all that shines is gold is now they had to put their trucks up they was they 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 they, they, they was proud to have their trucks so they was proud but now in 2024 where the rates are in the toilet and company drivers is being left in the dust is it going to get any better i i don't see it I, I don't see it getting any better i really don't so let me just hang back for a little bit and give you guys a little bit of advice because the the job market is not marketing right now it's it's not as easy for us truck drivers to just quit a job today and be there tomorrow i'm i'm here to tell you that for starters you you damn near have to have a spotless background you're gonna have to have a spotless background you you can't have no accidents you can't have no mvrs no violations damn near nothing on your reports your dac reports your psp reports your background reports your 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 uh, mvr reports you you can't damn near have anything because now the, the the state of the market anything that's little that happened to you on your DAC report these companies really can use it against you you have an accident back in 2019 they can use it against you you had a speeding ticket in 2015 they can use it against you 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 left the company and the company want to be petty and put a, an abandonment on your on your DAC report they can use it against you you had an accident last year they can use it against you man you damn near have to have a spotless record in order to move on or to get another decent trucking job so start right there drivers start by making sure that your record is clean and if it's not clean start by getting it clean find out what's on your reports pull all your records pull all of them pull your psp your your dac report your higher right report your mvr you need to know all of that so you can have your ammunition going into the next company that you might be interested in so you won't get sidelined as you guys can see that it's a big difference between years past until now you see the consolidation of these trucking companies you see it a trucking company is buying out a trucking company every day we just saw it with swift night and us express i started with us express us express was big enough to start a sister company a couple of sisters uh, companies one of which was the the mississippi of uh, total of mississippi was a part of us express variant was a part of us express i thought at one point arnold was part of us express but i come to find out that arnold was a separate entity which they just shut down this year and laid off thousands of truck drivers so yeah they just laid off so with the consolidation of these trucking companies buying out all these trucking companies you just don't know you're a new driver coming in and you want to work for news bomb but you come to find out that news bomb is a part of night swift us express you find out that abilene is a part of night swift us express you find out that these trucking companies are some way somehow a part of each other and that's crazy in itself and i said before that this wasn't the driver's market it isn't it was back then back in 2020 back in 2019 back in 2015 when i started where trucking companies was vibing for you offering thousands of dollars and dollars of sign-on bonus now there's not that many companies is offering a sign-on bonus why why should they 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 could pick from the thousands of drivers that was laid off again it goes back to the drivers that been with those companies for years make sure again make sure your records make sure all of your reports 
because let's say for example you had a backing incident with with that company that went under when they went under they put on your DAC report that you had a backing incident back in 28 uh 2008 2010 20 2020 2011 you know what i'm saying and they put that on there but there's no way for you to go back and get it rectified because that company is closed down think about it think about it how you gonna go back and call up the company and say hey uh, i want to dispute that how they they no longer in in business yellow celadon arnold tony's express uh metal Lark. Companies that I have called in the past that was looking for you drivers are now defunct, out of business, no longer in service. What do that mean for you guys now? Well, I'm I'm here to tell you. Less rates, meaning that these companies could bring you in at any amount they want. The going rate for a truck driver right now is anywhere between 50 and 60 cent a mile. 55, 54 but yeah now that they combined all the companies that they that they brought out they can do that they can do that let's say this mid-sized company was giving you 70 cent a mile and i'm just using the high end well that company get brought out or that company shuts down or that company goes out of business you've been there for three four five years and you making you you making top tier right but when they go up under you have to start all the way back down at the bottom and come in the door at 50 cent a mile 60 cent a mile so hopefully you can get 65 cent a mile but they're not gonna match what you was making it's either come in and take what we got to offer or leave it because the next driver will take it what about the owner operators that came in during 2020 covid they was getting all that good rates and you guys seen in my community posts right y'all seen in my community posts what some of these rates are going for and it's damn near ridiculous what is it for you lease drivers and owner operators and i'm not talking about the kool-aid drinkers i'm not talking about the ones that oh i make a hundred and 54k or i i make 100k and all we're not talking about you you're good you okay i a hey, more power to you for grinding and making that money and still being lucky enough to find loads that would get you that kind of money that you want more power to you i'm talking about for the new lease drivers the new drivers that decide to go and 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 stick their head out in a multi-million dollar truck and get with a bs company that's not even that that's not even caring about the driver or the truck that they got leasing through them that's who i'm talking to that's who i'm talking about i'm talking about them i'm talking about what they're going through the rates ain't rating right now the circle pack about what joe biden said about truck drivers is not going to be truck drivers in three four five years it's it could be and i'm not a political analyst and i'm not political and i know a lot of you guys are going to be like well joe biden is just saying this we need to get we, we need to get number 45 back in the presidency so they can so they can make a strong stance for us truck drivers i get it i get it but the opportunities is just not opportunity right now a lot of truck drivers is coming into this industry they spending all kinds of money to go through schools and stuff like that we have former truck drivers that stopped driving all together we got former truck drivers that stopped driving to become a full-time youtuber we got former truck drivers that stopped driving combine assets with another truck driver to open up another to open up a trucking school to give opportunities for uh people that's interested in coming into trucking but i know what you guys are gonna say right trucking is a stepping stone that's what all y'all say everybody on tiktok says the same thing all those female truck drivers that jump in there they they the, the first thing they do is set up a tiktok account set up a youtube account set up an instagram account make sure that they're monetized across all platforms and then what do they do they get on tiktok and start doing tiktok videos start doing youtube videos start doing instagram videos to get their brand out there now i said this before when people go over to prime inc and look look prime inc kool-aid drinkers please don't come after me i know y'all are but 
it is what it is i always said when y'all get over there the prime i i thought prime had the book of youtube because every time a new driver comes on with prime they have a youtube page and they document their journey let me pause for a second and talk about why these mega carriers like you guys they like you because they getting free publicity they sh you showing the insignia you showing the logo you showing what kind of trucks you drive and all like that and that is good for prime that is additional additional product placement that they don't even have to pay for because they got you the youtuber the trucker that's that's promoting the business without even thinking about promoting it you thinking you having a good time doing your documentary you're documenting everything that you do in your trucking journey while at the same time silently promoting the trucking company that you're driving for they see you a prime driver they see you a swift driver they see you a snyder driver rail all them mega carriers listen why, why do you think the mega carriers need to continue to send out press package to look for drivers they don't you go on facebook these days and you see a lot of black ops companies promoting their companies now because people don't know about them you go on instagram and you see every other posting about said company out of illinois said company out of texas all like that we're looking for drivers we're looking for for drivers to run this that and the third but you don't see no mega carriers though you don't see the lights of us express you don't see the lights of prime you don't see the lights of rail tmc and the rest of them because you got drivers that's promoting them for free you got them promoting them for free so yeah, the, the current state of trucking, the opportunities for us is not there, especially if you have a messed up background. I go back to tell you guys about you need to keep your background clean. I, I hate to say this, it, it really needs to be spotless. I had this driver that uh, told me that a company put a abandonment on his DAC report that he didn't even know. He left the company, he left the truck at a safe location, he left it at their shop, he left the keys, he called them up and let them know where he left the truck at. But that still wasn't the point. They still put on his DAC report that he left the vehicle without them knowing where they left, I mean, where he left it at. And that was some years ago. That was like, what, five years ago? And it's still haunting him to this day all that stuff that happened to him in the past and he's been driving he's been driving ever since and he haven't had no problems ever since but yet that's what they go back they go back to 2015 16 and says oh you have an abandonment on your report we we can't mess with you yeah but but i've been driving ever since then and been driving at the same company Ain't that one of the things that you guys is looking for? Ain't that what y'all looking for? Y'all y'all looking for consistency? Y'all not looking for job hoppers? Ain't that one of the things in the in 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 the format that says how many jobs you had in the last 3 to 4 years? At one. One. Now for whatever reason the company is shutting down or I'm decided to leave and to go elsewhere or whatever the case but it was one and 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 it's after the company that put the abandonment on my report how was i able to get with the current job if they did that and that happened years ago look at the current don't look at the the past and that's again that's why i go by to tell you guys your, your record gotta be damn near clean especially now where there's a driver's market and it's not even that trucking companies could pick and choose who they want now who they want to mess with who they want to bring on and it's a sad situation going into the future and i guess joe biden said what he said about the future before i get on up out of here what are we going to do what are there some suggestions if any owner operators and company drivers we're we're in trouble Our owner operators is parking their trucks all over the world because the rates ain't right and company drivers is getting let go for tedious stuff whether the company is shutting down or they're getting terminated for some bullshit let's touch on that for a minute 
you getting terminated for some bullshit. You you you're one of the highest paid drivers at that company. They need to save money, right? They need to save money. So how are they going to save money? Well, if you complain too much, if you don't take the load, if you're late all the time, if you don't get up after your 10 hour and drive, if you don't drive their equipment, if you don't feel safe and they tell you to drive, you're insubordinate. I didn't even think that was even a word, insubordination back in the day. I, I couldn't see how was that possible. They tell you to do something, you refuse to do it on the part of safety. And they still use that against you to get rid of you. So what are we going to do? Well, for starters, safety do come to mind. Make sure you have a safety conscience. Because a lot of you drivers that you guys want to jump on TikTok, TikTok videos and stuff like that. That's cool. Because y'all trying to get a brand out there. And y'all said it yourselves. Trucking is only a stepping stone for you guys. So hopefully you guys in the future would uh, would be better such as myself i uh, i got my tankers i had a few people in my ear as of late telling me to get my hazmat so i i might take the time to look into getting my hazmat um, i i was a little bit on the on a hesitant side of getting my hazmat but now it seems as though that you know, getting my hazmat and having that part of my retro will open up uh, a little bit more options out there and what are some other options drivers what are some other options i i looked into construction i i typed construction in in uh, in the google search to see what's out there and i i have talked to a driver and he told me that you have to know somebody to know somebody to know somebody but you just got to dig into the trenches to find out what's out there a lot of former drivers is turning to uber turning to Lyft. they feel they can make more money that way which a few drivers had but sometimes i i don't know i'm 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 not keen on doing the uber and Lyft thing because i did that been there done that you know i don't think i i personally want to come out of trucking just to drive some entitled person around in my car thinking that they that they own me and where I'm supposed to take them and they refuse to get out of my car. We're not doing it that way. There's opportunities out there. There's always local. You know, there's always Coca-Cola, beer, uh, Pepsi, and all like that. But with them, you know that you, you got to handle the freight. And there's always dollar the dollar accounts. Walmart, I don't know. Again, with Walmart, I know you guys mentioned that in the comments and, and in my email. Same thing with Walmart. I think they have a strict policy as well. They not only look at everything, but they look at everything. Everything. So again, if you're not a safety conscious driver with a spotless background, then you can forget about Walmart.